All the little chicks are growing up. They're everywhere. All right, everybody. So I am back out here in the greenhouse and I have my maple tree that I repotted not too long ago. And this spot here, it's got some new ground cover growth, which is really cool. Obviously, I've got a couple of weeds. I'm going to take these out right now before I get started. A couple of pieces. I just want to remove all this out of the moss before it gets too big and make it harder to pull out of the moss. So. Some of these are actually really pretty. This is actually a really pretty plant. I'm gonna leave some of that in there. I've got some very small grass growing in here. This grass actually stays pretty small. This is about as tall as this grass really gets. Um, maybe a little bit taller, about that much. So I'm gonna leave that. I think it looks pretty cool. I'm gonna take everything else out. The clovers, they get too big and spread too fast. I don't think I want to deal with that again I take these out using the tweezers because you can get the whole plant with the tweezers there you go all right so I'm gonna go up the trunk here show you how awesome this tree is looking it's got a lot of new growth on it it's really large leaves that look like they're being eaten by something you see the light through the leaf uh, this part's just shiny. That's not light flowing through, but yeah, that's definitely got something eating it. I don't see anything on the tree that could be um, eating it, and there's only a few leaves that have that, so I'm not super worried. This one looks like it might have been damaged from the hailstorm we had the other day. Actually, a lot of this looks like it could have been damaged from that so I kind of wanted to show you how to prune these back once you start getting a lot of growth for the spring or going into summer because we're still in the spring going into summer we've got a lot of new growth we've got some dead branches to take care of so I want to address this now so that I can get a second flush of growth out of this Last year I didn't do it and I only got one flush of growth and it did fine. I mean, obviously it looks really, really good, but um, I want to get a second flush of growth this year. So we're going to go ahead and trim this up and partially defoliate. Um, we got a dragonfly friend. That's so cool. I was uh, at the market today and I found a, uh, wow, now I can't even think of it, a uh, praying mantis, that's what it is. I saw a praying mantis on one of the trees that I was working on at the market, so I thought that was really cool. Alright, so I'm going to put the camera on the tripod and we'll get to work. Um, I am going to be partially defoliating this tree so that I can let some more light in so that I can get a second flush of growth from it so that it can progress further this year um i wired a branch uh in the video the last video i did was this branch and i don't know if i should have wired this branch i, I don't know if you can see that i hope you can see that bring in a little bit closer here i wired this branch and this branch is dead all the way to the trunk so i'm going to take that off being the first thing i do here so let's get you all set back up all right so okay, let's get to work here so i'm going to take this branch off so i'm going to cut it off about here and then i'm going to let this uh, go through its own course of um, turning into 
dead wood to start with, and then it'll turn into, um, uh, I don't even know what they call that, a knot on the tree. So it'll turn into something that looks like this for a little while. So yeah, you can see right here, this was a, an old wound um, a couple of years ago in this tree, and I, I took my knife and I cut the outside of the wound and put some cut paste in there, and it's healing up really nicely. You can hardly tell, and it had some kind of scratch here. Right here would be another um, place where a branch came off, right up here, and you can see that the inside is drying out and it's actually smoothing over. So eventually, this piece right, right here, this piece right here will eventually come off and smooth over and that'll be a nice smooth part of the tree. So I have a new little branch right here that I really want to develop. I want this branch to come up over and in, into this section of the tree. So first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to thin out this other branch. I'm going to take off some of the really big leaves that are growing on this branch. I'm going to cut them off. Um, they've got really long um, petioles, I think this is, what this is called. They've got really long ones because they're, they're reaching to come outside. So I'm going to cut just about halfway so that I, I leave that other piece on there. Um, I don't want to take all of these leaves off of this because it's got... Um, it had four leaves on this one tiny little branch right here. So I want to take this one going off the opposite direction here too. So I got those two off of there and that opens up a lot already. I want to leave these two on here. I want this to grow a couple of more leaves and then we can take these two off and let that grow out. So I'm going to keep moving up the tree like this, just taking off the really large leaves that are blocking everything else so that I can just open up some some sunlight to the, the lower part of this tree down here so that this stuff can develop. I want to take off a lot of the interior um, leaves here. And just mostly the, the large leaves. I've got some little leaves in here that I'm going to definitely leave those. Take off leaves that are being covered. Other leaves too. This is going to uh, really get this tree to um, push out some more growth. Because it's currently, what it's doing is sitting here thinking that it's got enough I mean, it's it's growing but it's not it's not really growing because it's got enough photosynthesis going on right now uh with the amount of leaves that are on it to sustain it and right now that's all it's really thinking about is sustaining itself and just growing for the summer and being being happy and healthy until next year uh, are going into dormancy so it's just it's just basically gathering resources to hold into the roots for the winter so that it can just grow again next year and what we want to do is make it be like oh no I need to grow some more because I, I don't have enough um, solar panels right now and then it'll grow more solar panels and they'll be smaller also so that helps to reduce the size of the leaves as well as get it to grow a little bit better or more. I'll leave that outside one on. I'll take this inside one off. Now we don't want to go overboard on this because each branch has to have at least one leaf on it. Um, I would definitely prefer more than one leaf on each branch, but if we need to go down to one leaf to get it to uh, open up, then we kind of have to. The lower ones, I kind of want to leave as much on there as I possibly can to, to get it to grow. So if I don't have to take anything off the lower part, I'm not going to. Okay, 
Okay, so I think that's good for this part of the tree. This part is good. It's it's opened up, and as you can see, I've taken off. I've taken off this many, many leaves already. You know, I've taken off quite a bit of quite a bit of solar space. So we're gonna move over to this part of the tree now. And this tree is really tall. I don't know if you can tell that, but this tree is really tall. I'm going to try and keep this tree about this height for the duration of its existence as far as I can. I think I can keep it pretty short, or well, this, this tall. I think I can keep it this tall. Like I said, I'm, I'm looking to see what I can take off to open up to make it grow more. So I'm, I'm only taking off what I have to take off to get it to grow. And then I'm going to take off all the, the dead ends of the branches that didn't grow. All the buds that didn't grow. I'm taking those all off. Got a couple up here. We're all gonna kind of look up at this tree. Take that dead branch so, off. As we continue to take off some of the upper canopy leaves here, I'm looking for leaves that are damaged. I'm looking for leaves that are really large and blocking everything. Leaves that are growing over the top of every, all the other leaves. Got this really thin branch on the inside here, coming out here. I kind of like that. It just looks really cool. I could probably bend it over here. No, I like it over here. I think it looks, I think it looks natural because that's, that is natural. That's the way that branch grew spider in the tree. So when I'm cutting off the branches that didn't grow, I want to cut them off just straight, a straight cut. I don't want to cut them too close to the rest of the tree at this point because it's still growing and I need the sap to go through this section if I take that too far back, the sap won't go through that section. I'm going to take this branch off all together. It's a little bitty branch, had two leaves on it. It's so cool looking up, looking up at this tree. I love it. I feel like I'm underneath of a, a really large maple looking up at it and just able to reach way up in there into the canopy and just trim leaves off. I have a crazy imagination, I think. That's okay. If you don't have a crazy imagination, probably don't grow bonsai trees. Definitely takes some, some imagination to be able to do this. Really want to open up this this space up in here. Take this dead branch off. Every one of these buds had turned into a branch. This tree would be so full. I did get some back budding, which is awesome. Back budding is definitely a good sign that your tree is healthy. Also with taking leaves off the top of the canopy here, it allows the rain to fall through the tree and water the tree. If you have a ton of leaves up here, it's like an umbrella. So it doesn't, it doesn't allow the rain to go through and water the tree with the natural rainwater. 
and I think it's really good to water your trees with natural rainwater. It's it's good for them. It's got just one leaf on that branch. I really don't want to take off too many leaves on this, but um, I think this will be good. I'm not going to fertilize it after I do this because I want it to push out smaller leaves. If I really heavily fertilize this to get it to really explode with some growth, it's going to push out really big leaves again. And that's not the goal. The goal is to get it to push out little leaves. So once the new growth hardens off, then we'll fertilize it for the fall and get it all nice and healthy and, and growing really well so that when it drops its leaves it has plenty of nutrients and energy to grow next year. This is kind of nerve wracking because I really really like this tree and I've not done this process this extensively with it before. Last year I think I did take off some of the leaves because so they were just really really big leaves and they were blocking a lot of sun so I just I took off a few of them and it did grow just fine but I think I took off just enough to make it grow or to keep it healthy but I didn't take off enough to cause it to have a second flush of growth so I think there's a a line of not enough and enough so I want to definitely push it past that enough this year to get it to grow a second second flush of growth but it's taking uh, some of the strength off the top of the tree will cause the, the lower part of the tree to gain strength. It's uh, just reallocating energy. Got a really tiny bud right here at the top of this branch. Very damaged. Didn't even notice that. That thing is. Oh, you guys can't see that. That thing is so destroyed. Wow. Must have had a caterpillar or something in here. And if I've got a branch up here that's got a lot of small leaves, I'm going to take all the big leaves off of it. Like this branch, it has mostly small leaves. I don't want to miss anything, but I also don't want to go too overboard with it. Like I said, this is the first year I've done this um, to this extent. One thing I've realized with bonsai trees, you don't want to be afraid of doing the work that you need to do to make them healthy because if you don't do the work to make them healthy then obvious statement they're they're not healthy and then you have a chance of the tree declining over the years and and then what you don't you don't have a tree anymore so sometimes you gotta have a little courage to go ahead and do the the things that you're not sure of but yet stuff that you've either researched or been told works by somebody that's done it and had success with it. You don't want to just go ahead and do crazy work to your tree by listening to someone that's had a bonsai tree one time and they don't even have it anymore and they're telling you, oh, well, you got to do this, you got to do that. It's it's very, very scary process and all that. Don't, I, I don't recommend listening to those people. Be polite. But just, I, I don't listen to those people. I'm listening to those that have trees 
either currently or have had lots of trees or you know they they have their own nursery somebody that's I've watched on YouTube that's that's not a bad thing listen to people that you watch on YouTube just if you're watching somebody on YouTube they've got like three or four tiny little trees or small trees and, and they're telling you how to take care of something huge probably not the people to listen to yeah and I say that and I'm thinking you know I've got I've got experience with growing trees but I'm not I'm not an expert and I'm, I'm putting out a lot of information on my my videos so do the same thing with me if if you've done your research and what I'm telling you on my videos isn't something that you've heard from somebody that's a professional or somebody that's you know doing really well with bonsai trees then let me know that would be awesome let me know so that I can um, be educated also because I really want to be educated in this um, as much as anybody else I guess I want to do well I want to get better I want to make this you know my career so you really can't do that without education <laughs> so I I do educate myself a lot um, with growing bonsai trees I do watch a lot of YouTube there's not any um, bonsai societies or groups in my area I would have to drive a couple hours to get to a place where I could go to a bonsai society meeting so um, anyway that's that's why I watch a lot of YouTube because I can watch YouTube from somebody that's in Europe Japan I can watch somebody that's in Tennessee you know um, Oregon something like that you know I can I can get educated from other bonsai um, professionals on YouTube as well as you guys can so if you find like I said so if you find that I, I'm 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 talking a lot of nonsense let me know so that I can not just be talking a lot of nonsense I really 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 appreciate all the comments that I get on my channel I really I got a, a, a spelling comment on one of my my videos it was it was it was actually about this trick I put um, repotting a maple tree and I don't know what I was trying to spell but it wasn't maple tree so they, they commented you know shouldn't it be this or shouldn't it be repotting a maple tree and I, I really appreciate that I really really appreciate that I did not do well with spelling or reading I'm, uh, I'm dyslexic so I appreciate anybody helping me out with that also I don't take any offense to somebody correcting me politely I would I would take offense if somebody was being really mean about it yes I would but if somebody's being polite and correcting me I'm, I'm totally cool with that I actually really thank people that do that so anyway moving on so I think I've gotten to the top of the tree here I think I think I'm good I I'm gonna take off one more leaf I'm looking at it there's only two leaves on this branch but this leaf was blocking out everything so that's a it's a giant leaf and you guys are just looking at me inside of the tree I'm sorry there you go. All right, I'm gonna take you off the tripod here. I need to get a tripod mount for this camera. I'm just kind of sliding it into the into the slots on the, the top of here. So and dropping things. All right. Let me put this bolt back through there all right so that's the pile of leaves that I took off that's that's a good pile of leaves 
and put it all in the compost bucket. Oh man, it's been a long day. I went to the, the farmer's market today and sold some trees. Did really well. I really appreciate everybody that buys my trees. All right, so I got all of this taken care of here. Like I said, I, I kind of want to leave more than just two leaves on a branch. I hope you can see what I'm pointing at here. Get close enough. I can get like super close with this camera. It's awesome. Love this camera. It's, uh, uh, JDI. Um, it looks a lot like a GoPro, but it is not a GoPro. So yeah, I got everything all taken care of. You see the tops of the leaves are kind of yellowed. And I think that was a lot because it's being blocked by other leaves. I'm thinking, trying to look in here. I've got some really, really damaged leaves. Or this one's pretty damaged. But I'm kind of wondering if I want to take off another one of these leaves. Because as you can see, it's blocking it's blocking this one. So I'm going to take this one off. And like I said, I'm just cutting right through the middle of the petal, petiole. I think that's what these these pieces are called, the petiole. That's the part that's at the end of the leaf. And cutting here, this will fall off. It'll dry out and fall off. So I don't have to cut it clear to the branch. Because cutting it clear to the branch, right at the branch, you have buds. So a new branch can emerge from right here if this is left there. If you take this off clear to the branch, there's a good chance you could break that off. And then you've got no, no back budding, no new branch. I really love how this tree has the white spots on it. I really love that. It looks so cool. And the dark spots, it is wet. It just rained. So I might, I might go through and use a toothbrush and some dish soap and clean this off a little bit. I'm really liking the branching on this. This branch is super cool. It's got some really good twigging and branching going on here. This tree is still very much in the developmental stage, so it's going to get there. And as I'm looking at it, I think the trunk has pretty good taper. Tapers out really nicely here into this branch and then really nicely tapers up into that branch. And that branch has got a lot of movement in it. And then it's got some crazy twisting and movement right here. Cute little branch starting to grow right there goes out into this branch this branch is a long branch it goes all the way out to here and that is actually the highest part of the tree currently i am not sure that that is something that would be particularly particularly desirable if we're talking about a show tree but Honestly, I really like it, so I'm, I'm going to leave it like that. And this branch is actually pretty long too. It goes all the way down into here. And then you've got a lot shorter, shorter branches at the top. They've got a lot of movement and bending. So yeah, I'm, I'm really, really proud of this tree. I think I, I think I did a good job picking it because I did um, dig this up. It is a Yamadori. So I think that I did a pretty good job of picking the tree. I really like the roots. They're, they're looking really nice. And I am pretty excited about the, the ground cover uh, doing what it's doing. Looking really nice and green. And the little grass pieces I think that just it just really looks like it's sitting in a in a forest. So so yeah. 
So I think I'm gonna leave you with this shot of the, the ripped tarp on the top of the greenhouse. And my light is on because it's kind of dark out today. It rained. And yeah. I think that's really cool. I love looking up into this tree. All right. And thank you all for watching. And I'll see you on the next one.